Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Ferox and today I'm going to explain what I meant when I said on the blog that the Tetralogy of Fallow is four different heart defects that all occur together and all of them are really bad. I mean heart defects are kind of bad anyway, but a Tetralogy is something really special. It's fascinating and also kind of scary and I'm really glad that human medicine is miles ahead of vet medicine in this respect because it's also very common in human babies. But let me explain how the normal heart works so that you don't get too lost. In a normal heart, deoxygenated blood from the body, which is represented in blue, comes into the right side of the heart through the atrium and ventricle and then shoots off down the pulmonary arteries. That takes it to the lungs, where it picks up all that useful, useful oxygen and brings it back to the left side of the heart through the atrium and ventricle and off round the aorta. But in a tetralogy of fallow, there are four different things that have gone wrong. First of all is our pulmonary artery is far too small. This is called a pulmonary stenosis and it can be stenotic either at the valvular level or just near it. which makes it harder for any of that blood to actually get up and go to the lungs. Secondly, is because the pulmonary artery is small, the aorta is often pushed into the right side of the heart, overriding it. So the aorta now has access to both oxygenated blood from the lungs as it should, but also deoxygenated blood from the body, which it really shouldn't. They also have a ventricular septal defect, which varies in its location and how big it is. And that is essentially a great big hole between the left and right ventricles of the heart. This allows deoxygenated and oxygenated blood from different sides of the heart to mix and both go down the aorta, which is incredibly inefficient. And lastly, because this heart is all so weird and wrong, the right side of the heart muscle gets bigger and bigger so that it can push against the much stronger left side of the heart. So you also have right ventricular hypertrophy. So in a tetralogy of fallow, we have significant mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood, which is going in particular down the aorta. In vet medicine, a lot of these patients do not live terribly long. In human medicine, there's all sorts of surgeries that they pursue, especially in the first year of life. However, even these are not free of complications. So how does this occur? You'd think the internal structures of the heart would be a fairly important thing for evolution to get right. And most of the time it is. But we know in Kishons, in particular, where this is particularly common, there seems to just be one gene responsible. And what that, and what that gene seems to do is that it causes the stenosis of the pulmonary artery, which drags the aorta to the right which makes it harder for the ventricular wall to complete itself and connect to where it's supposed to be. So that is the Tetralogy of Fallow, which is a pretty cool little heart defect that I'm very glad we don't see very often. My name is Dr. Ferox, and I'll catch you next time.